Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to cover the range function. So a range function which is used for generating a list. Now list which indeed is another data type in Python. And we are going to cover the, this particular data type in my upcoming videos. Okay, but we are going to understand a bit about the list because uh, for using the loop, basically the for loop, we need to understand a bit about list also. So range function is what we are going to learn and uh, we are going to understand the in operator. And also uh, we will get introduced, we'll just introduce to for loop. Okay, we will, we will just understand how to use a for loop with the help of this range function and uh, the in operator okay so let's get started so i'll just use a comment over here for the explanation part so that's hash which means it's a comment it's not the it will it will not be the part of the program uh, interpreter will interpreter will uh, simply ignore these lines so range function okay it has basically it has uh, three arguments that is first is the start end and uh, increment slash decrement okay decrement. so for example we cannot use uh, i cannot show you exactly how the range function uh, works independently because it works with uh, the for loop but i will just show you for example it uh, you give three values that is one that is a start Okay, that is the start value, that is one, and uh, comma five, and uh, one. Now, what does this mean? This means that the range function will start from one, it will end, okay, till five, and increment by one. So this basically, the range function will basically produce a list. Now, list is one of the important data type in Python and uh, it is used to store uh, values of any data type, okay? And it is one of the, uh, it is extremely important data type in Python, uh, list, dictionary, and tuples. These are the three very important uh, data types in Python. But at this point, we will just understand a bit about list because we are supposed to use it in the for loop so this basically produces a list which will ha have a numbers uh, it will actually generate a list with the numbers sequential numbers like one two three and four so this you can see this is a list a list starts with uh, the square brackets opening and closing and it will produce the numbers one two three and four so it started by one as specified and it will end whatever whatever end value you have specified it will uh, produce that value n so for its n so it will produce till n minus one so if you specify five so it will give you five minus one that is four okay and over here i said one so it is incrementing the values by one so it's one two three and four for example if i take i'll just copy this I'll just copy this and uh, let us see one more values if I change the value for example if I make this as 2 and I will make this as uh, 10 so it will start by 10 and it will go till uh, sorry it will start by 1 and it will go by till 10 minus 1 that is 9 but the values will get incremented by 2 so if I say 1 so that the next value starts by 1 but the next value will be three and then five seven and we will have that is nine okay so these are like uh, the odd numbers so one three five seven and nine so this is the list that this particular range function will produce as per the values that we, we have passed okay so it will start by one it will go till 10 minus uh, 1 that is till 9 and the values will get incremented by 2 so 1 3 5 
7 and 9. Now you can use this for, you can also use this for for a descending order. Now this is like in ascending order. It is going from smaller to bigger. We are going from smaller to bigger. But uh, if you want in a decrement order, for example, I want from 10. It should start from 10 and it should end to 1. And I have to specify over here as minus 1. Now this minus 1 which means decrement value. So what will happen is it will produce the value. It will start from 10, then 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and it will go till 2. Okay, since we are going from decrement order, from um, descending order, that is 10 to 1. So it will go till 2. From It will start from 10, it will go to 2. Okay. So this is how to use the range function. Now, it's not necessarily you need to pass all the three values. For example, if I just give um, 10, okay, I'm just passing one value that is 10. So this will basically produce a list from one, two, three. No, it will start from zero. So by default, if you don't give the start value, so by default, it will start from zero and then one, two, three, seven, eight, and nine. So this is the list that will get generated. So if you don't give the start value, if you don't, I have not specified the start value. So by default, it will start from zero and it will go till nine. So it is, this, this is as equal as if I type this. So if I say range zero comma 10, it will be the same output. And if I don't specify anything out here, still I will get the same output. So that is how you can uh, you can use this. So one more example we can use for the for the descending order. Okay, so we will just make certain changes. I'll make this as two. So can you guess what the list it will produce? It will produce. It will start from ten, and then it will not have nine. It will have eight, right? And then it will have six and it will have four and then it will have two so it started from 10 we are decrementing it by minus two so it will start by 10 then eight then six then four and then two so this is the list that will get generated by this particular values of the range function okay so now that we have understood this uh, and uh, then just we'll move forward and understand the in operator. Now in operator, we can take certain examples for the in operator. Now I can straight away give a list also. For example, if I say five and I can actually produce, okay, five in, okay, and the values are two, four, and five. So this will actually give me the value that is true this will turn out to be true because 5 is in this particular list so there are a list of numbers 2 4 5 and 5 exist in this list so this will give me either true or false it will produce me true for this particular um, example so for example if I give something like uh, 10 in and if I have values like 2 and 2 sorry 4 and 5 so this will actually give me false, false value. Okay, which means uh, because 10 does not exist in this list. Okay, so it will give me false. Also, you can say if I give this as not in. So if now if I say, now these are another operator, not in. So 10 not in 4 comma 5, which is actually true. It is not that in the list, right? So. I hope you have understood this basics. Basically, you need to understand more about the range function. This will be easily taken care of. But uh, range function, you need to understand how you, you, you're supposed to use this. Now, let us straight away, we will, uh, okay, I'll just keep this as a comment also. Give it this as a comment. And, okay, so understand these are comments. These are like ignored by the interpreter. So now we will take an example. So we will understand what is a loop. Now loop is basically when we have to execute uh, a block of code 
a few lines of code we need to execute that n number of times now n means n can be any value n can be any value so in that case we need to use a loop so we have the first loop to understand is the for loop so if i say for i in and then the range function or this is a syntax i is simply a variable any name you can give okay then i will use the range function and i say five so can you can you guess what this range function is going to going to uh, produce it is going to produce a list but the values if you see if i just give five so which means it will by default start from zero then it will have one two three and four so this is the list that is going to get produced okay so that's the list so i've placed in the comment so you can understand so this range will range function will produce this list and then i have this code now that is the syntax you need to understand for which is a keyword i which is a variable user defined you can give any name to your variable n which is an operator and also a keyword you can see all that comes in orange over here all that is a keyword and this is a function and then followed by the colon then if i press enter you will see there is a new block code that has been defined this is the indentation part and if i simply say print print i so what this will do is this will print the value what values okay now over here what will happen is it's not like i has no value it is not defined but what will happen is this will produce a list that is zero to four and i will be assigned the value zero over here okay when you use it in a for loop in operator it works in a different way so i will get the value zero and it will go to the loop the block code and it will print zero okay after printing zero since this is a loop and the list there are few more values remaining again i will get the value one and so it will print one so it goes on how many times it will go for it will go for five times so that is called as the number of uh, executions that takes place it is called as iterations okay so this iterations is like it will have five iterations okay so we print one zero one two three and four so if you see the output we will run this program save it with the name test.py okay and we will see the output so over here so this is the output zero zero one two three and four perfect right so that's the output it produced now if i give something like 10 and if i run this so you will see you will see the output as zero to nine since i have not specified the starting value but if i give one so it will start from one and it will go till nine so you can see the output zero that is one and till nine perfect and if i have a that is the increment value as two now you can see the output okay that is one then they incremented by two that is three five seven and nine and uh, we can use this one this example let us use this example and i will place it over here and let's see whether we get this output or not right so 10 comma 1 minus 2 so that is in descending order and here it is 10 8 6 4 and 2 now last time i told you how to use the print statement the print function so i will just specify the end argument variable as nothing what will happen over here we will be in the same line or i will just give one space okay so it will every time it print something it will end with the space it won't go to the next line because i want that it want that the out, output should come into the same line so here it is now it's we are in the same line right so 10 8 6 4 and 2 so that is how you can use this uh, for loop that is how you can use this range function and uh, the in operator and these are the examples you can run these examples you can practice this and the number of execution now this particular block code that we have one statement okay at this uh, example so if i give this like one comma five 
So basically, the iterations it will have is four because this loop is going to run from one to four. So the iterations will be one to four. I will initially get one, then I will get two, then three, and then four. So we'll just run this and see the output. So here it is, one, two, three, and four. So I can give some many, you know, some other, some other statement in the block code, and uh, something like, um, you know, uh, you know, these are like uh, number of iterations. Okay, something number of iterations. So you can understand that how many times these statements are actually getting executed. Okay, now this is completely one block code inside this for loop, understand this. So this two statements is the block code and it will get executed if I specify, specify 1 comma 5. So it will be for four times. So you can see the output. So for four times, oh, there's something problem. Okay, I just did not give the closing quotes. Okay, here it is. So this is number of iterations, then it produced one. The number of iterations now I'm just giving end over here so I'll just remove this end just a minute so that you can understand I'll give over here so comma end is equal to space so it will print this message and one so now we will see the output okay so here is the output number of iterations that is i will be one the number of iterations two number of iterations three number of the four the total four iterations so I, that's it i hope you have understood the entire tutorial as i said that uh, list is a very important data type we are going to cover up uh, list uh, in my upcoming videos so stay tuned for that Practice it. It's, it requires a lot of practice. You, as I said earlier, you practice and you become perfect. You, you start, it, be, it is difficult. You practice, it becomes very, very easy. Okay? Bye for now. So if you have liked my video, do subscribe to my channel. There is a subscribe button in front of you. Click it right away. And after that, click on the bell icon so that you can get the regular notifications of my videos. Bye for now.